I'm joined on the vine with Catherine Thorpe. Uh, she's a regular guest here on the vine as owner of Full Out Bar, but today we talk about a great pastime as she was a cheerleader for the Kansas City Chiefs. So Catherine, thank you for joining us today and tell us about your time as a Kansas City Chiefs cheerleader. Well, it was definitely like one of the best times of my life. Um, as you can imagine, such a joy and an honor to get to be a part of such a great organization. And I, you know, I look back and it's funny, I'm, I'm about to celebrate my 40th birthday. So you can, it was a while ago, right? And uh, actually like the thing I remember and take away the most from my time as a chief cheerleader, and I mentioned that to say, because three of the girls that I cheered with are actually joining me for my birthday. Like, that's how close we still are. Aww. So the thing I Remember the most about my time as a cheerleader for the Kansas City Chiefs. Yes, the pom poms were fun. Yes, the, obviously the games were a rush. It was the appearances were wonderful. The halftime show, the intro show, all of those things were so exciting and so wonderful. But the thing I really value the most um, are the, the relationships that I made. So, and I'm I'm such a people person, so of course that's my take home. But so, what years did you cheer, and how long did you cheer for? Oh six oh seven, one year. So one one shining year. I like, so funny. We lived in Kansas city for four years when my husband was there and I wanted to try out every single year. And every year it just wasn't like, it didn't, didn't try out. Yeah. And finally, last year we were going to live there. I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to audition. I was teaching dance in Kansas city. Um, I had a few connections that were cheerleaders that I was friends with. And they kept being like, you've got to audition. You've got to audition. And they kept telling me the process is so much fun. And I was like, mm -hmm. that sounds terrifying. And, um, you know, truly it was something I wish I had done the day I moved to Kansas city, because it was like such a, such a, it was such a positive organization, like such a amazing quality people. It was a positive process, audition process, start to finish, start to finish. It's not what you see necessarily on TV about, other organizations, which everyone's got their own way and their own personality, but the Chiefs organization through and through, and it still is that way from football to um, to staff, staff that works concessions mm -hmm. when they had concessions and, you know, to cheerleaders with such a beautifully run, positive place, a positive, positive place to be a part of. Just loved every second of it. I mean, there's nothing like getting on the field and doing an opening dance before the players come out on the field on uh, at Arrowhead Stadium. I mean, yeah. like, like the most exciting thing ever. And um, yeah, there's there's just nothing like it, getting to be on the sideline. I know you didn't ever get to cheer at a Super Bowl, but like how nervous do you think you would have been to gotten to cheer at a Super Bowl game? <laughs> Great question. You know, I have never actually put myself in those shoes. I would be pretty dang nervous. But it's also fun. unbelievably excited. And, you know, I think when you cheer or dance or do anything for a long, extended, extended period of time, you know how to, you learn how to control your nerves mm -hmm. and channel them into like a great performance. So do you have a message to the Kansas City Chiefs as they get ready to go into the Super Bowl? So I actually was privileged to be on the team the year Lamar, Lamar Hunt passed away. Yeah. And the Chiefs um, for many years was an incredible, incredible man, mm -hmm. led with integrity, like from top to bottom. Mm -hmm. I was privileged to dance at the game um, where they honored his life and actually do a beautiful halftime routine to Amazing Grace. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. We wore costumes. It was just a privilege. I mean, there wasn't a dry eye in the, a dry mm -hmm. eye in the house. So I would say do it for, do it for the Hunt family. That is unbelievable. Can you imagine the energy she felt in that stadium when she was down there on that field as one of their cheerleaders, Hannah? Oh my goodness, Ashley. I could not even imagine. Well, actually I can kind of imagine. So little fun fact about me uh, back in, let's see, the last time I got to do it was 2008. Uh, my grandfather worked for the Dallas Cowboys what? for like 13, 14 years. And I got to attend uh, the Junior Dallas Cowboy cheerleading camp every summer. And we auditioned. And if we were good enough, we got picked to dance at uh, the Thanksgiving halftime show. So for three years, not in a row, it was kind of spread out throughout my childhood. For three years, I got to dance at uh, the Dallas Cowboys Thanksgiving halftime show. Oh, so I got wow. to be around Destiny's Child, uh, Cheryl Crow, uh, and last but not least, the Jonas Brothers. So. <laughs> 
Yeah, I can kind of get, you know, her feeling just a little bit. I mean, obviously I was a child, so it was a little bit different and everything was much bigger in my eyes. But uh, yeah, uh, that is so cool. I know it's pretty intense and I can't imagine the Super Bowl. <laughs> that is that is so cool. I had no idea you actually got to do that. And yeah, you kind of do know what it's like to be out there on the field during an NFL game and to see those big stars performing too. What a cool experience. You're always bringing us some surprises from getting engaged on the show to now telling us this. I never know what to expect with you, Hannah. <laughs> All right. Hey, you know what? I'm, I've, I've got a lot of surprises hidden. <laughs> I know. I can't wait to find out what's next. Well, thanks for being on the show, and we'll be right back.